Gravity equal acceleration. Does the earth pull the apple to the ground or does the sky push the apple to the ground? Which is correct? Gravity is pulling matter together, or anti-gravity, another name for dark energy, is pushing it together. Which is correct? Gravity is inside matter somewhere, or anti-gravity is outside everywhere in empty space. Dark energy in physics is defined as the repulsive force that counteracts gravity and causes the universe to expand everywhere at an accelerating rate. My suggestion is that dark energy is anti-gravity. Most likely it is zero-point energy, the cosmological constant, and virtual particles too. My next suggestion is that there is no gravity. My idea is similar to universe-wide Casimir effect on all matter. Here, instead of two metal plates being pushed together, there are plates of matter and the expanding space around them pushing them together. Dr. Einstein said his breakthrough came when he imagined an analogy of an elevator in space. As acceleration increases, gravity increases. The person in the elevator can't tell if he is in an elevator traveling in space or on, one on Earth. But what if we are both right? Look at the drawing. There are two round elevators. The elevator on the left is not accelerating. No acceleration equals no gravity. The force of empty space or anti-gravity pushes on all sides equally. The elevator on the right is accelerating. Acceleration equals gravity. The force of empty space or anti-gravity pushes on all sides, but mostly from the front due to the acceleration. The acceleration scrunches up the forces in front. They overlap each other from the elevator accelerating into them. These cumulative empty space forces push back more and more as the elevator accelerates in that forward direction. This causes gravity. Acceleration equals gravity. More exactly, the forces of anti-gravity cause matter to experience what we call gravity. So, acceleration of an object in space causes space to push back. This is what we have been calling gravity, but it is anti-gravity. Some will say, but it's so obvious the sun goes around the earth and the apple falls to the ground. Yes, they seem obvious, but both are wrong. My previous post, part of a single paper covering all these ideas, suggested that before the Big Bang there was a singularity of photons, an eternal, dimensionless point of energy. Then the force that expanded out of the Big Bang and started the universe in time-space was dark energy, a subset of the singularity of photons. So, gravity from stars and planets was never pulling matter together. The opposite was true. Anti-gravity or dark energy from empty space was expanding and pushing matter together from all sides. There is no gravity pulling anything together. There is only anti-gravity or dark energy expanding and pushing matter on all sides. This can explain acceleration in elevators, rocket propulsion, the rubber sheet analogy, why no light escapes black holes, space expansion, curvature of space, and why there is so little gravity in the quantum world.